In this video, we are going to um, configure Postfix uh, to be able to send email uh, via SendGrid. So currently, I have a uh, Ubuntu 18.04, um, and it is uh, sending email um, via Postfix. And uh, so let's go to the uh, Postfix directory right now. Um, currently, we have um, existing configuration um, in the main.cf. So I'm just going to copy that configuration right now to uh, back it up to another file uh, so that we can take over um, the, uh, the main.cf. So I'm going to go ahead and remove main.cf and then recreate it. All right, so main.cf, um, according to uh, Postfix, configuration that is uh, that is recommended by SendGrid should have the following um, information here. So I'm going to put the uh, the link in the description um, where you can copy and paste this block of uh, text for the uh, main.cf configuration. So this is from SendGrid website directly. All right, so once you're done with this, then you're just going to um, Press Control X, yes, save it. Uh, that I was using Nano as an editor, by the way. So after that is done, then the next thing that you need to do is actually edit the uh, SASL password file also. And uh, you do that by um, uh, also doing Nano. And uh, it is also in this particular directory right here. So you're just going to type it in like that. And We are going to remove this and um, uh, put in our um, our own um, username and password. Hang on a second, let me get that. So this is my username and password for um, SendGrid, and this is where you create it via the API area. Uh, in SendGrid, okay? So my username is this, and then my password is all this right here. All right, next, uh, after we have those two configured, uh, we are going to change the permission. Um, and uh, if you are not using a super user, I am happen to be using a super user, you have to do sudo, uh, but I'm just gonna go with the motion here uh, using sudo also. And same thing with the, um, Postmap, uh, we are going to load the new password into Postmap. And then finally, we're gonna restart the uh, Postfix itself. Okay, so once that is all done, um, then you need to um, do a, some test email sending. And um, so some of the uh, test email sending um, that you can possibly do is uh, using this command. Uh, let me show you, hang on a second. Okay, so it's gonna look like something like this. So basically you have, um, you're echoing a content of the email into the mail system. And this is the subject, it's test email. Uh, and the reply to is person, which is uh, basically person at Gmail. And then the recipient is recipient at gmail.com. Of course, you need to change these um, email addresses uh, appropriately to whatever you want to, but this basically is, an appropriate um, command to, to, to test out your new uh, Postfix configuration. All right, so 
all you have to do is just press enter and if you are experiencing issues and it doesn't actually send you may want to uh, do a tail uh, for the last 100 line of var log um, mail dot uh, log or the syslog uh, and uh, just to see if you have any error message and see what's going on uh, why you're not uh, experiencing some uh, successful email being sent but that's about it um, these uh, commands right here from here to here are pretty much all you need to be able to um, send email using SendGrid and again check the um, link in my video description for the link to go to SendGrid uh, with their official instruction how to send email via SendGrid uh, using Postfix in Ubuntu or Debian Thank you for watching. I hope you find this video useful. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and uh, share it with your friends. Uh, and don't forget, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel to see more do-it-yourself video like these and support my channel. Thank you.